And welcome to Albion TV and Albion Live. We are currently watching some live ZVZ action. And wh what do you got, Bogle Forest? What are we? Who are we looking at right now? Uh, right now we're looking at Boldy. Okay. Oh, Boldy from BA, uh, earning our BA TV moniker. Yes, we are currently setting up to watch the NA portion of today's invasion. Uh, earlier today, we had the EU portion. We were joined by Lupac. But this evening, we are lucky enough to be joined by Robin Hood RS. Oh, wow. As Kyrox gets caught in a massive clump, he does get some heals down. It's a very tight choke here. And here oh. we go for the re-engagement. No, they're just going to back off just a little bit. Nice camelin into the back there. If they can follow that through with some DPS, it would be really brutal. But Karanox is... He needs those hills. Yeah, he he wanted those hills, but he's not getting no hills. But as Zerg's carry on moving up the east side of the map here. Can't, is, is that Zygma Alliance that they're fighting? I believe. I'm trying to get some names on my screen right now. Yes, it is. Zygma Alliance. Okay, haven't heard of these boys before. So we got some new people on the stream. Looks like uh, they're just trying to prostrate up here. I'm going to hop into free cam, see if they're falling. Oh, no, here we go. Finally, our tank gets up into position. Massive cam lands, followed up by the Grovekeeper engagements. There comes the Wailing Bows right through the front line. And actually, Zygma only lost what? a couple Just in that engagement. One or two. That yeah. was really well done by the heels and really good scatter afterwards. But you have to go, maybe it was just not a uh, coordinated enough attack. Really good CC on it, but just not enough DPS. Yeah, good kiting here. You see the soul sipes come out and the firewalls. Yeah, Night nice are getting popped there. as they walk through. And we're going up a really tight choke here. Right there in that choke. Oof. Wow. No follow-up. No follow-up. Nope. I guess that firewall did its business as causing everybody to run around it. Now, uh, yeah, that ring... And get what it needed. Here we go with the re-engagement uh, on the choke point. They're in a spot of trouble here. Go. Good damage Good coming out. The silence by the beetle doing work for Zygma at the moment. Looks like these boys have to back up down the choke. They do lose quite a few people here. Mm -hmm. Offensive Locust comes out. There goes the wind wall. Kairos needs to get some heals. Finally gets one. Uh, he looks like he kind of ran away from one of the resets nope. there. Looks like they had a pretty good one forward positioned. Double yep, he reset. Did just pick up one up. Yeah, it's he, like well, they're getting uh, bullied in the back line by the. Yeah, who's coming up from the back here? Just one dude. Just, just one what? sumos. I mean, that one sumos guy he can do work. a lot of work with those. Yeah, he's still going. He's still combos. going too. Yep. They just don't seem to have the DPS to put people down right now. And Ordin's coming up the hill here. It's like they're going to get caught in a cam line combo. Oh, Look at the damage the output. The front line. Somebody zero the hills. DPS. They're, they're just done here. Oh, boy. I think we're getting sent home in just a second. Wow. I another name. Six. That was yeah, a was great able to port play. Off that corpse before I got taken for a ride. But dang, that was fast. It was indeed. A lot of the Lusa DPS effects? and Is healers. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the healers and DPS for these boys were actually paying attention to the blood letter and their front line just got caught off guard. They're going down. Great play by Zygma. It looks like they're trying to bait them up to choke once again. Maybe trying to get those fake mount-ups. I'm not sure if it's happening. They did lose a healer behind. Gervalo is... Uh, maybe he DC'd. What mm -hmm. is he doing? One guy? Okay, one guy from Zygma all alone. Poor guy. All right. I think that one is getting cleaned up. Yeah, it is indeed. It looks like the other group have ran away. They got their kills that they wanted. Unless they're baiting down to the ever choke, they are. Watch this. Watch this. I'll come they back. are dismounted down to the southwest here. And it looks like the bait was complete. There we go on the frontline engagement. All those boys getting caught off guard down in that little valley. Zygma coming in with the strategic bait and switches here. Something I wouldn't expect from a guild that I've never even heard of before. Great plays by those boys using the map to their advantage. And now these, uh, the port or guard, guardia, yeah, guardia boys are stuck on top of this hilltop. If they get collapsed in on from the other side here, Zygma could send another group around to the east and catch them off guard. I don't know if we have any other ZVC action happening at the moment. Uh, I'm still popping around trying to find something. Alrighty. I just see a huge amount of squad running around in Glacial Fall Canyon and going north. 
Uh, I yeah. think they're going to go try to get more of those high-level towers. Yeah, some uh, free T8 towers were claimed. And here we go. We got the push coming up the hill. Crazy play by Zygma, but it looks like it's going to work as there is no defensives or blocks coming in on the front line. Is it... Wow, is it pretty much a drive-by onto the top of the hill here? A lot of defensive burn. Maybe this uh, battle mount's going to get in a little spot of trouble. He is getting locked down. They could put some real hard pressure onto this battle mount. He does lose a bar of health. But Zygma backing all the way up. Very interesting play so far by those boys. I really want to know more about these people. I haven't seen them before. They're playing really, really well. They're definitely not new to this game. It's like uh, that Siege Bowl player is just chilling. Okay. Uh, there's not much ring left. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, that was Actually, like when you ring the doorbell and you run away before they open the door. They, we, you know, they rang, but there's nobody here by the time you I guys see Blue to Army see coming in. Blue Army well, is now Blue engaging Army from the, from the back side on the Elevate. Yeah, I, d I don't know if uh, Elevate were expecting this, but it looks I like a lot they of were. their They're getting hit pretty hard. Yeah, the front line getting caught off guard. Here we see the wave of Elevate now coming down onto the front line of Blue Army. Good countdowns coming out. Momoto leaping in with the Grove Keeper. We don't really see him use the Grove Keeper that often, but it seems like uh, that engagement paid off for Elevate as they just cleaned up Blue Army on that tiny little choke point of the pathway here in the, the uh, tunnel. And it looks like they're going to fall back, get the hills up. They are pretty low in the back line. I'm not sure if we got another group flanking anywhere, but it seems like they don't. Uh, reset's coming down. They do have a ballista in play. No other battle mounts as I can see. Oh, wait, no. As I say that, two beetles at the front. So that's going to be very painful for Blue Army to... Uh, engage upon with those silences in a very tight choke point actually make that three beetles now Ooh, looks like uh blue army's pulling all the way back well it looks they like they did bridge. a really good job yeah they they've definitely held their own they had two different fights to go through and they deleted somebody up there that was yep. poor rank here i mean go. Second wave coming in, catching the back line or the front line of Blue Army. Momono leaping all the way deep into the back line of Blue Army. And here we There's see the, the wave of BA coming in now, focusing Not. purely on the front line. And there comes the blazing, emitting a massive amount of damage. Yeah. Momono's going to have to pop his cleric hell, maybe. Nope, he pops his resistance, still staying in the fight. Momono's There's probably no mid line left. Uh, yeah. Momono, I mean, you might want to go and uh, see what you have to call with there. Nice uh, pressure in through Hyper Chief and getting a few more kills here. Well done by Elevate. Pushing through the midline losses. Now they're calculating. Yeah, he, he probably notices now. There's a couple less tanks in his his arsenal right now. Might want to check out what he's got left for numbers. Line him up again and do it again because they caused some damage there. But that, that return fire onto those tanks cost BA quite a bit, but they got those tanks. Yeah, not not many frontline left the blue army. It seems that we see a lot oh, of. Oh, so it was a double blue army? Like it was a double frontline massacre there? I All right, think, I think so. There's like, some, a few and, left. Yeah, here we go for the next wave of engagement. Momono leaping in once again, and the oh, wave wow. of elevate comes storming in. But yeah, here comes the return enough. fire. You see a lot of uh, protection bubbles coming out onto the HP bars of elevate. Those little white bars mean they are protected by a shield. So it's going to soak up a lot of that DPS output from Blue Army, and Blue Army are trying to rotate. Get, are they getting hit by somebody else on the other side here? Because Blue Army's got its forces split here. They're not all pushing in the same direction. They're mostly moving east, and they were getting hit on the, the northeast group. No, that's just Freeman going the wrong way. Unless yeah, and Blood and No Tilt were really, really bringing on the, the pain here. I don't, I don't see what it is, but we see people from Sun. We see people fr from everywhere here. Wow. Mixed room. Yeah, it's, like, it's like a blue army and rang. I mean, we got people mounted to the southeast door. We still got Mojo trying to fight kiting northeast, and we got rang coming in from the northwest. Elevate's taking this fight so pretty good right now from what I'm seeing here. They're pushing real deep. And of course, as I say that, the, they're like falling back. Q, they need to, they yeah. need to pick up those Reject heels. Party came in. Yep. I don't even know who Reject Party is with. I don't But even it made know people that. run. Looks like both, it gave both groups enough time to try and... Uh, oh, they're attacking themselves. both groups. What is this? 
I don't know. Uh, they're mounting I, up. It looks like they're going to be foe chasing. Maybe if Blue Army's going to hit the back line? I don't know. This could have been a bad play. I'm, I, I'm in free roam trying to figure out who's fighting who here. We and I see war. Reject Party mixed in with Blue Army. And I, I think they're all just trying to hit. Uh, oh, here we go. Elevate here. And now Looks they're like splitting elevate. apart. Yep. Yeah. Elevate just caught last worn to the south corner of the map once again. Both sides getting oh, a really yeah, good think. engage here that's a tough one yeah they were split on both sides east and west it looks like uh last oh, one last one got ran chewed. over uh, yeah they yep. did but they've got They're a ton of dudes good. over here if they can pour through this choke after those cooldowns are down yes great clump against elevate pounding them near the bridge and enough enough dps there it's going to take down a few elevate as well but here comes the counter to the counter to the counter and now and i can't even tell what's going on just origin back. fire man just fire it is it's absolutely wild <laughs> right now. And uh, Momono is just going absolutely ham in this uh, Grove Keeper build that he's got going. And it looks like Last Warner are getting clearing, cleaned up in this tunnel. Once again, Elevate just pushing them all the way back. You see Health Bar just dropping right here. Holy crap. Was that Reject Party and Tea Party? Both hitting that clump at the same time? I don't know, but up if you go up farther to the northeast, they ran straight through uh, a group of last worn, and it's just a massacre. Yeah, oh there's my God. Oh, bodies Robin, on uh, the ground. People are pointing out that I do not know what the tunnel exploit is. Could you fill the audience in on that? What's the tunnel exploit? Okay, so you don't know either, then? Nope, no idea. Okay, then. So, nope, don't know what it is, guys. I think, <laughs> I think the only thing that's getting exploited here is... Uh... Blue the army being used on <laughs> Blue Army's boots. Because they are just running right now. Elevate are just steamrolling everybody in this tunnel. And it is a massacre. Look at that clump. Oh, a beautiful that clump and grab. Let's see what the follow through is on that. I, I can't tell. They're all dead. That They're all dead. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't tell you what happened. They just died too fast. Uh, oh, a big clap just came out. Not picking up picking up enough people. Bodhi trying his damn hardest here. He's going to go down. It looks like it's going to be a full wipe for Blue Wait. Army. Last worn. And oh, was it Rang ouch. as well? Wow, we're getting some uh, some irritated people who, when they zoned into the tunnel, they got black screens. They got zoned out. They... Apparently the tunnels are bugged in some way. Robin, have you had any fights in the tunnels? Clearly not, so you haven't experienced no. this. Nope. Okay. Elevate currently getting a bit of burn here as they go through this group here, but nothing that's really... I don't see a lot of death, except for Literally, Blue Army. Nothing is stopping this wave of Elevate today. Like, we saw him perform on the EU, and it was a little bit hit and miss. But right now in NA, they are the strongest they've ever been, by mm -hmm. the looks of it, just crushing over everybody at the moment in this tunnel. All right, I'm going to um, get some screenshots of this uh, chatter for people because, yeah, I, I hear you guys are seriously ticked off. Robin didn't know either, man, and he ZVZ's on the daily. I ZVZ on the weekly. But I have yeah. not seen this bug before. We'll, we'll send it in. We'll get you, we'll get you heard. Jabated. Totally. All right. They're trying to recruit is what they're doing. They're seeing if anybody will recruit. Looks like uh, FTU are in a little bit of trouble pulling back from the territory here. They do have mob aggro as well as a ZVZ from the Simp Alliance holding the territory. They look like they're going to go for another re-engagement here. A lot of mob aggro. You don't want to have those uh, those demons hitting your backline. Here we go for the engagement. Nice Grovekeeper engagement followed up by double countman. The defensive locust comes out on top of... Uh, Simp saving a lot of their members right there. Good engagements for those boys. And here we go with the turn. Looks like the front line is going to be taking a bit of a pounding here. Very Maybe weird uh, position away. here. You want to get regrouped on this. This is not the way you want it. Two spread out. Oh, it's like three fronts on this one. Yep. And, and that's going to make them pay really, here. Look how yep. spread out there. They're getting clumped up. And, uh, and the return comes in. Good engagement, but they yeah, pretty good. Yeah, but the, not enough to sustain. Ammo. They didn't have the heals. Yep, they need They're to reset reset. this a bit. Here's a good one. Oh, just right outside the the shell. Okay. Yep. Uh. Wow, big cam. Oh, that cam could be abused. Where's the? 
not they're oh. gonna get away with that one. Oh, oh look how close it was. That's like three <laughs> three seconds late earlier. That would have been game over for these absolution guys. But they yeah. got lucky. Diving in now with a good leap. Uh, it's a mixed follow up. They're gonna get some lonely men here alone. Pick them off. Nope. Survive. Yeah, looks, looks like the sip are used in their locuses very, very well. It's mm -hmm. um they have a lot of cam lands too. Look how many they're throwing out here. Yep. Here this we is go. Like cam another land. one and another Red one and it's very well done. And some DPS follow up here. Those uh nice mini down. DPSs are just chomping away. The bleeds coming into full effect, and here we go for the re-engagement. Oh, a massive engagement. A there we go. That's Perma what Pro people are looking for. That's in. how you delete people right there, Robin. Yep. Perma That's Pro pain. Now if you can get in. And it's now we see the melee DPS going in over the top of that into the low DP, uh, low health players and cutting them down. That's how you want to do this. Get in the big range damage. Hit the AoEs. Once they're low, then you start sliding through and getting those kills. Execute. 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 Yeah, it looks like uh, these healers need to communicate just a little bit better, calling out their resets. They are pushing it down, but it's not... Uh, you got to get those resets anyone. underneath the shells. Yep. Uh, that Judicator armor does boost the heals received if you are inside of the shell. It looks like uh, Simp are pulling back up just northeast a little bit. FTU looking for an engagement. They do get engaged on first, though. Big counter is coming in, followed up by the... Brimstone oh, seat will place brutal. right on top of it as well. The front line just oh got absolutely God. demolished. There's, there is there anybody left? We just have our tank, just Kazer. He's going to need this reset. Now yeah. we should have that Judicator too, buddy. Yeah, look at that. Oh. Look at the difference. Oh, there's the Judicator. Where's the heal? There it is, finally. And he don't step out. Okay. Oh. A lot of dead bodies on this uh, stairwell here. And uh, it looks, like, uh, looks like the Simp Alliance are getting more punished by the mobs in their back line. Right now, done this, uh, Robin, I think I've got an idea of what they're talking about with the bug um, as far as tunnels. And we'll talk about that when we're done here. Roger that. And it looks like we're going in for another engagement. The Grove Keeper trying to go in pretty deep. Doesn't actually connect with that many people. Um, the back line of Simp able to... Just walk out of that freely. There comes yeah, the return. Not, oh, not all of them, though. TFU getting hit yeah. from behind as well. Looks like a little flank group came in of tanks. That's something that you don't see, a, a flank group of tanks, but it seems to have worked. It works. CC is very powerful. When you have that many cam lands like these guys do, the Lonely Men, it seems, they have a lot of tanks right now. I got to yeah, say, it feels like they have a lot of CC. They could do something like that. Throw in some side CC, slow people down while they're retreating, or even while they're coming in for... DPS, anything you can do to slow up those advances and mix them up, throw off their timings, works really well in CC. Yep. Great silence by the Beetle in the back line, stopping those heals coming out for the front line. Oh, you wow. see how well that's, that's going to drop. Death. There goes the Galaclap, Permafrost and Brimstone all landing on top Both of that. Both hitting them. good, good DPS here. I'm wondering if they're getting low on healers. This Something's going they, on here because we're seeing a lot more death on each side during these engagements. They're just not lasting as long here. Yeah, uh, you saw right there the the reset comes down. This healer is getting punished by that oh, mob. Poor guys, we've got grab by that gambling out of position. Are they going to even get that reset? Mm. Hmm. No follow up, no damage. Looks like it could have been a There's fake. There's damage coming from the south. There, there was something, but Finally, not enough to really. But uh, I'm really impressed by uh, how long this fight has gone. By these, it, it seems like messy engagements, and you'd think by now somebody would have messed it up enough that there could be a run through. But both sides have time and time again corrected course, gotten things back together. It's been a nice fight. Yeah, it really has. Oh, um, that was a really, I like that miter. Uh, really, it's really nice. Finally, the re-engagement comes in. Defensive Locust lands for Simp, saving oh, a lot of that engagement. That's going to be a lot onto but these the guys. Counter, I don't know how much they left. The counter TFU yeah. goes down. I, yeah, I think that might be it for this group. The TFU guys might have just... Uh, I'm just hopping into free cam right now. It looks like they are getting pushed back through the choke point. I'm going to stay in free cam for now. There goes the cam land right on, clumping them into the staircase. Soul Scythe comes out, but the Night Helms are popping, stopping the knockback. Looks like TFU are trying to stabilize here. They haven't got much to work with, though. Looks like a lot of their tanks are gone. There goes a Grove Keeper. I'll try and grab that name real quick. There we go. 
Gooey Rogue. That's gonna be yep for FTU and uh it's like this frontliner just once again just getting demolished. There comes the Camlan. Demon armor is they, popped. Trying I gotta to say, they're still holding up here pretty good. I mean, this has been death on both sides. Neither one has gotten a clear advantage in this fight. Each time you think one side's got it, the other side comes back and gives a little bit more. Uh, I'm impressed here. Like, you would think that Death Locust would be done by now after the number of deaths they've had, but I believe that that's their hideout to the north. Yeah. Or that, that that's uh, at least the staging location that they're using to re gear and come back out for this fight time and time again. Yeah, wow, there's something that you don't really see much. Uh, the Bedrock Mace coming out. It looks like TFU are finally pulling out here. They, It's all over for these boys. They all are spread out in different locations, trying to save their gear. They are mounting up, trying to save... Oh. Yep, Derek in the front line, south on the road, and he has Savage in their sights. Here comes the first engagement. Countman comes crashing down the front line of Savage, getting annihilated with that one engagement. Siege Bowl combo comes back, and Final Order taking a massive amount of damage here. Resets coming down, though, does drop onto the tanks where it's needed to be. We did see a couple people go down from both sides, but it wasn't enough to stop the push of Final Order. Derek sees Talion to the northwest here. I'm not sure if they're allied or what. A lot of different people on the field right now, so who's together? Who knows? But Final Order are stomping to the northeast, trying to keep these boys pinned in. Soulside goes through the rocks, down into the, the valley, and it looks like Savage are getting caught off guard. Texture Bubble comes out onto Derek. There goes the uh, the silences by the beetles, slowing down the engagement, along with the icicle. But it looks like uh, that beetle just put himself into a suicide play. As uh, yeah, he's going to get targeted instantly. He's going to go down, and just like that, that's a free beetle for final order. Derek Didn't hitting they quite work, back, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, they bad did. for Savage. I mean, Savage is just a small guild compared to final order. I didn't. I just don't put them in the same category. Uh, Props to them for trying to face this onslaught, but they did not hold up very well. No. I Painful. think they lost quite oh, a few going for the door. I think these doors are going. allies, maybe? Mm. Who's, who is this? Aggro? No. Oh, wow. They just got caught. Look at that club. Yeah, oh, Derek goes into the new noob. Mm. noob trap. Oh, wow. It looks like Talion are going to be dismounting here. Crap. Oh, my God. What is that? Why? They run back through. Agro ran right back through. Well, it was either that or they Italian. run right into the Talion group yeah. here. Oh, man. Big oof. Um, No. I mean, both battle mounts are now kind of useless. Oh. Uh, Behemoth as well. Behemoth was actually a good counter to... The battle mounts, mm -hmm. um, the true damage uh, tick over time did a lot and not so much anymore. I just tried to go back to Derek and then he just died. Um, there's Rang and Blue Army and uh, here in Everwinter Gorge. Okay, uh, Blue King what? Mojo maybe? Uh, uh, they're just mounting up now. Yeah, it looks like uh, yeah, Final Order just got fully wiped. Sadly, we didn't catch it on stream. But it is what it is. You can't catch every fight. I'm starting to notice what it's like to do these three long streams in a day. Your brain does get a little soft. Uh, but yeah, we will be back at 17.30 for the 18 UTC time slot ZVZs. And then back again with the 19 UTC AO Daily Show. And then Bogle at 20 UTC will have Crystal League. All on Tuesday and the rest of the week around those slots, we will again have action. So if you enjoyed today's show, thank you for watching. And if you didn't, I'm sure I will see your messages in chat. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Keep it classy, Albion. We're out. Good night.